European Cup for the team and the third personal uh, since his uh, beginning. Uh, let's start directly with a question from the floor. Jose Felix here in the middle. Yes, raise your hand. Yeah. Enhorabuena, Zizou. Congratulations, Zizou. I want to ask you a question that I asked you in Turin. Did you think that Cristiano's goal was better than yours? And now I'll apply that to Gareth Bale's goal. Was your goal in your time, was it better than Gareth's or is Gareth's better? Well, I can't say that one is better than another. These are goals, these three goals tonight are great for the history of this club. And as always, the last goal is the most important one. So let me say that Gareth Bale's goal is more important than mine. First of all, congratulations for this match. Secondly, I have to ask you about what Cristiano Ronaldo has just said. He's kind of suggested that he might be leaving Real Madrid this season. He's talking in past tense. Can I ask you, please, do you think that he will stay, Cristiano Ronaldo will stay in Real Madrid next season? And are you not upset that he's made those sta statements on a day like today, perhaps in a selfish manner? No, that's not what's on my mind at the moment. What we will be doing is to think about what we are doing at the moment in the present. We'll think about the match of tonight, the major achievement of tonight, and we have to focus solely on that. And then we'll see what happens. And of course, as I always say, Cristiano has to stay in Real Madrid, whether yes or yes, as we say in Spanish. He, has, he must stay. Hola, Zizou. It's uh, Emil from Israel. Israel Sports Channel. Uh, you won everything already as a player. You achieved the World Cup, the Champions League, and now it's the third time in a row you win the Champions That's League also, no? as a coach. Can you describe the difference of winning stuff as a coach compared to winning stuff as a player? La diferencia. Bueno, es, es, well, it's, it's something I can describe as continuity. I've been saying this recently. What I'm doing, I like what I'm doing. I love football. I've always loved football as a player and now as a manager. It's continuity, as I say. It's not whether I prefer to be a player or a coach or a manager. I've just started my career as a manager and I'm living this. Uh, what I'm living with my players is absolutely spectacular. It's amazing and I have to capitalize on this moment and enjoy the moment and that's what I'm doing. Thank you. Buenas, Mr. Jesus Clemente. Jesus Clemente, OK Madrid. Congratulations, not only for tonight, but also for your career so far and what you've achieved so far. Perhaps this trophy tonight might, might be the most important thing. Has it, been, has it been a good season? And would you uh, like to have a season like this next year if it could gar be guaranteed? No, there are no guarantees, as you know. At the beginning of a season, obviously you want to win everything that's within your reach all the trophies that you can. And I've said this many times, one cannot be happy with, with what we've done in, the, uh, in La Liga uh, or the King's Cup. But the, important, the most important thing is what we're doing now and what we've done tonight, our achievement tonight. That's the most important thing. And we have to congratulate the players. It's not at all easy to do what we've done and what these players have achieved. You can, you can, a team can go up and down, and but tonight, really, there are no words to describe this. And this is uh, the most amazing thing about this squad. They simply do not have a ceiling. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Barca won La Liga, Atletico won uh, Europa League, and Real Madrid, four time in a row, won Champions League. Spanish Premier, uh, Premier is the best play, 
a place uh, for players to come. What do you think? No. No lo sé si well, I don't really know if Spain is the best country for players to come and play football. What I can say is that the Spanish league is highly competitive. It's, it's a very difficult league. I think it's the most beautiful one. Of course, we all have our own opinions and tastes. But at the end of the day, when you look at Spanish players also in, on the national squad, I think the style of football in Spain is the football that I really like best. Hello, Sinadin. Anton Mena, live, Cadena Ser. Congratulations. Two questions, if I may. First of all, what do you think about your players, this particular squad? Sometimes and many times, even the press say, yes, players, there are players who've played very well the last couple of years, like Guardiola's Barca. Uh, perhaps we're not attaching enough value to this particular squad of Real Madrid. As their manager, what do you think about your, their players? And as to Cristiano, as the person responsible for sports, can you confirm that he will be staying in Madrid? Well, I just explained the situation with Cristiano. He must stay in Real Madrid. He will stay with us in Real Madrid. But of course, as usual, we have to see what happens. I think he is a Real Madrid player. There are no words to describe what Cristiano Ronaldo has achieved and what he's done in Real Madrid. So, in my mind, he must stay with us at Real Madrid, but we'll have to see. And as to... No microphone on the speaker. I wanted to insist on the question about Cristiano Ronaldo. Have you actually asked him if he wants to leave Real Madrid? No, I have not. Microphone is here in front of me. Hola. Hola. Hello. Good night. El Pais. Congratulations. We've seen Klopp. A few minutes before the final whistle, he went up to you to congratulate you. Could you tell us what he said? And also, what did Florentino Perez tell you when the medals were handed over? Well, both of them simply congratulated me. Klopp very, very quickly, and uh, I had a little more time with the president of Real Madrid, Mr. Florentino Perez. But words of congratulation. Then I had a little more time to speak to with the president of Real Madrid, but it was simply uh, that he congratulated the team. Zidane, congratulations. You've reached the top. What's the secret of Real Madrid? How, what's the secret so that Real Madrid can do so well? There is no secret, really. A lot of work, hard work, and a lot of talent. And I don't have to explain this. We know that in this particular team in Real Madrid, we've always had uh, great talent. All the players are very, very good, but there's a lot of hard work behind it. In addition, this team has a great deal of enthusiasm. They're hungry for more goals and more victories, and they've demonstrated that today. And for me, the most important and difficult and complex things is to actually get to a final. And remember what we've done. We beat Paris Saint-Germain, then Juventus, then Bayern. And we've ended up here in the final and we've defeated Liverpool. And they have had a spectacular season. At the end of the day, there is no secret. I think it's a question of enthusiasm. The club is highly motivated. We know that we've had great successes and this this last cup, this, this trophy, nobody has done that before. It's unprecedented and that's the secret of this um, of this squad. Hola Mister aquí atrás. Hello behind uh, Transistor on the Cero, congratulations. I have a question regarding Danny Carvajal. He was in tears on the pitch, devastated. Did you speak to him in the dressing room? And just in case I'm confused, Cristiano said that it was very beautiful, very beautiful to be in Real Madrid. And in a few days, I will be communicating to the fans my decision. Is your understanding different from mine? But Cristiano Ronaldo has a valid contract. If he's made that statement, it means that he's leaving. Do you understand something different? Well, what can I say? Nothing's going to change. 
If that was, if those were his words, if that was the statement he made, well, that's what he said. That's it. But we have to make the most of this particular moment in time and of what we're doing at present. Perhaps in three or four days' time, he might say something else. But if you, if I may, if you'll allow me to say what I feel, I really think the important thing is to consider the hard work, what we're doing now, our achievements now. Regarding Dani Carvajal, we are very, very sorry. He was in tears uh, in the dressing room. I spoke to him a little bit at half time to try and uh, make him feel better. So did all his uh, mates, teammates. That's very difficult. But again, he, Dani Carvajal, has also won the Champions League again. Ruben Cañizares, Abesen, congratulations for the, this uh, Champions League final. Bale. He said a little bit like Cristiano Ronaldo, but uh, there was some nuance. When he was awarded the Man of the Match uh, award, he said that if he couldn't play every week, every weekend, it was hard for him to stay at Real Madrid, and that he will think about it over the summer, and he'll speak about it with his agent. You don't want to really uh, sort of support any players unconditionally, but what will you tell a player who really wants to play every week? Uh, what will you do? Well, it's a little bit of a complicated situation, but uh, everybody has their own interests, their own uh, future to think about. But this is a team at the end of the day. It's a squad. And nothing is going to change at the end of the day, as I always do. I try to do my best and the best for the team in terms of what I hear, uh, what I see, how we work. And from time to time, it's true, some players deserve more time, more playing time, more time on the pitch. But this is a decision that has to be made by the manager. I understand a player like Bale uh, who wants to play more. He showed he's proven this tonight. He, as all the other players, he made the difference on the pitch with his second goal. So it's absolutely natural that he wants more continuity and more regularity and to play more. Final in Madrid, 1st of June 2019. Thank you. Thanks a lot.